Good morning, party people. Yes, the Friday. No one no, no going out, you know. Be safe. <laughs> but good morning, my Sun Uppers. Welcome back to Sun Up on 7. Just before the break, we're joined with the Peace Corps Belize, talking about exciting projects that are currently undergoing, as well as their 60th anniversary, which went in August. But now we're here to celebrate Belizean excellence. Yes, we have the Belize Volleyball on the 19 male team here. Well, three athletes from them. Talking about their recent wins in the Central American Volleyball Championship, which was held from September 11th to 15th in Costa... Or, no, Honduras. Honduras. Sorry. I, I just say San Juan. San... Well, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're here joined with... Mr. Nicanori Kenya, we're here with Mr. Cyrus Samuels and Mr. Julian Alamia, who is, who are all athletes on the team. So welcome to our couch this morning. How are you all doing? We're doing really yeah. good. Thank doing you for having us. Yes. All right. So we found out you're all 17. Yes. Yeah. So let's yeah. talk a little bit about you know, the sports of volleyball and your journey. I'm gonna go with you first, Cyrus. So tell me a little bit about how long have you been in volleyball? Is this the first time you've been? You know, going international, what's it like? Um, my story with volleyball started, like, from me attending Holy Remember Primary School and also, like, seven members of her team also attended with me. Oh, nice. We started it as, together as a group, and it has been going on for, like, four years strong now. Wow, so you've yeah. really been putting in and perfecting your craft every time. Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm also a returning, for this tournament, I'm a returning player because I've already been to the U17 tournament in Tegus, um, Nicaragua in 2019. Oh, you've okay. gone just before, just before COVID starts. Yeah. So you may get a nicely relaxation before. <laughs> <laughs> you got his trip before. And then, Nicanor, tell um, me a little bit about your journey. So my journey started at Toledo Community College. Okay. I've been playing for, give or take, five years. Um, I also am a returning player. I went to Managua, Nicaragua on the same team as Cyrus. Oh, cool. Um, but this has been a totally different experience. Um, a lot more work has been put in, and I've just been a lot more motivated to bring back a medal this time because of the potential we had as a team. Great. Love it. And you, Julian? Um, well, I started volleyball in Standard 6 at BES. Oh. Yeah. For, for the first time I joined the team, we actually won nationals. Oh, like yeah. you make the oh. difference, you know, that you must have that difference. <laughs> uh, yeah, and in high school, I actually joined the volleyball team at SJC, and I joined the majority of the guys that Cyrus went to primary school with, and I've just been really playing with them. Well, you guys kind of know each other yeah, for a while, which is good because that means the chemistry is there yes. when you're playing. Because when you play people, you know, know like that, that could yeah. be a whole recipe. Halabaloo. Ah, like, boo, 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 boo. But, so, <laughs> what was the experience like in Honduras now? I mean, you said Nicanori was a completely different experience. Tell us about that. <laughs> well, as captain um, and as setter, it's just, it's a totally different thing for me. It's my first time being selected as captain. So I had to make sure the guys were healthy. I had to make sure they were hydrated. And we did have an instance where a guy got sprained. I um, sprained his ankle a little bit, so I had to make sure I was treating him for it. So keeping the morale up partially fell on my shoulders and just making sure that the team had very good energy and was well motivated. You know, that's my responsibility to make sure we're doing good as a team. Right. It's a so lot. So it's, it's different. Okay, and Cyrus, so you're here in Honduras now. I could imagine the stadium, huh. right? Mm. Honduran supporters, you know, Usually, barely Belizean supporters were supporting from home, watching you guys. Yeah. What was that feel like being in their turf and actually competing? You know, the, um, the stadium was very loud, you know. It's full of, they're always waving their flags all around. And the last night of our tournament, because so for some reason, they always let Belize play the last game and the home country. So that stadium is packed, people are screaming. But, wow. you know, when we really get into it, we can, like, block out all the noise. and. Yeah. You're just focused on the on, yeah. on the game itself. Yeah. Oh man. So, <laughs> I'm just thinking about. I'm like, man, the pressure must be on the last game playing against Honduras. Like, this is Honduras's turf. I'm like, everybody's watching me. They want us to slip up, you know. Mm. So that's a lot of pressure. But I want to ask Julian. Tell me something. 
out of all the games that you played, what one was the most intense for you? Um, and I'd, why? I'd probably say the game against Nicaragua. Interesting. Yeah, it's because um, we had actually won the first two sets and we we're extremely close to winning a third set, but it just slipped out of our grasp. And I feel like Nicaragua really gained momentum from that and they ended up beating us in the end. Oh. And all three of the sets were really close. They, they won by like two or three points. Ah, so. so it was a very, very close game. And I know when yeah. you reach that point, it's like valuing the, the points really, itself. Yeah. You have to win by two, right? Yeah, yeah you have to win. Right. Um, so, Nicanor, you brought home bronze for yeah. Belize. How does that feel? What does that mean to this team now? Amazing. It's been like a dream to bring back a medal. You know, we made history 30, I believe, 30, 32, 30 something years since a team at this level has brought back a medal. Wow. Of any kind. So you shattered that. <laughs> yeah, we, we were aiming for gold. Really, we were aiming for gold, but I mean, we gave it our all and we're, we're just very happy, proud that we were able to bring back a medal for the country. Amazing, amazing. I love that. So the support coming back No, family, when you come back with medals, how was your family, what was your support team, everything going off for or going on for? Um... Before we even came back, they had some people like Newsroom reaching out to us on social media and stuff. We see the pictures, like, we say, wow, we're famous because we're on <laughs> <laughs> Yes, and when we came home, all of our family and friends were right there. It was a very, I don't know, a very casting event. It probably was overwhelming to see all that love just, like, just pour out yeah. at you guys. But you worked so hard. And I know you said you wanted to bring back gold, but you still broke a record, you still yes. made history and brought back bronze. And it just pushes you now for either you or whoever comes behind you to know that, you know, just got to put a little bit more extra work in. But you guys did exceptional. And is there any words you want to tell to the people that have been supporting you, that have been a part of that journey, any big up or anything like that? Because this is your time to still shine, to be highlighted, because, like I said, on a work hard for the year, on a gone through it, right? So... Julian, is there anything you want to say? Um, if anything, I'd thank my parents more than anything. My father as well, because he actually, he takes the time out of his evening to drop me off at practice and pick me up as well, which, well, practices are usually three hours long. So, wow, okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'd finish up until after nine o'clock at night. You guys practice every day or how does that work? Three it, times during the week, one time on the weekend. Okay. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot of discipline, I know. I know, I know. young people, but it's you want to hang out, too. I can't do it now. My man, show up at a place, like... No, well, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> the one last thing that we would like to announce is that yeah. in October, later in October, we have the Sub-21 tournament that is coming up. Okay. So it will be in Managua, Nicaragua. Okay. And we would like for all the Belizeans to tune in. So, so you're going back to Managua? Yeah. All right, that must be something <laughs> exciting. Because remember we had New Zealand long with a scoop about Nicaragua and how they come back out uh -huh. of nowhere, right? So that's going to be an interesting one. How do you guys feel about the energy going into that tournament? Well, you know our morale is very high. Thanks to the gold. Yes. Uh, <laughs> um, going for the goal this time. Yes, so we believe that we will do well as well. Because it will be a similar, the players that from this tournament will be similar to the next one, so... Oh, okay then. So, yeah. you more or less know how people play. Is there a new strategy or something? Because, like you said, you kind of see how people are playing. And I know yeah. that, one, in basketball, that's a thing that you always do. Like, you know how this person dribble, you know how he always go for the three points or he does a layup or whatever. Sorry, I'm a basketball person, <laughs> so yeah. Um, what would be your strategy going into this tournament this time around? Well, we're going to have, we're going to integrate some older players because this is going to be an older tournament. Okay. So it's U21, it's no longer U U19. So we're going to have some players more experienced joining us. Um, we're going to have bigger blockers. Um, hopefully I'm the starting setter as well for this tournament. But we should have a stronger team and we should be able to bring back another medal aiming for gold again. I love it. I'm going to aim for gold, man. And yes, have the Belizeans. Um, support is going to be streamed live again, right? Yeah, yeah. What De dates? Definitely. Sorry? Um, I'm not sure when the tournament itself is going to start, but I know we're leaving the 15th. So right around maybe the 17th. 
All maybe right. around that area. Well, definitely we're gonna. There's gonna be stuff on social media circulating about when the tournament is starting. Yeah. Definitely. All right. Great. Because we had big you guys up when we like we were just starting. I think it was two games they had one. They had one Guatemala, Guatemala and, and I'm not sure. Is El Salvador? Yeah. 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 That was when we um had said make sure you guys support these guys and we were telling everybody and people are like getting so hyped about it. So definitely want to know when you guys are going out again so we can. Like they raise the alarm. So I, I have to give a little bit of a big up here, or big ups, sorry. Big ups, uh, Papa. Big to the away. best scorer, to the second best spiker, and the best server, Elizar yeah. uh, Mejia. Uh, the best opposite, Preston Smith, as well as the best setter, Nicanor here. <laughs> so congratulations to all of you uh, in that regard, no? Um, but we look forward to the next tournament. Again, people, stay tuned to their volleyball uh, social media, Belize Volleyball Association. Right, that's it. And you will be updated as to the dates and the streaming because the, I, I was streaming one of the games as well. And um, I mean, excellent streaming. But yes, <laughs> let's, let's support our Belizean excellence. They're going abroad to represent us people and they're representing us well. Exactly. They really need to build a support full on, putting on a Belizean flags. I know they can't hear with the screen, but I'm sure like, you know, when you can go back and see that there are so many Belizeans in, in the comments, you feel that love and you know that it's there. So is there any final words you want to give to anybody out there, to the team, anybody at all? Um, I'd just like to thank the EEA Volleyball Group for guiding us through this series. A very big aid, Mr. Elton Anderson. He's also our coach. And our teacher, I when, when I used to attend SJC. Nice. You know, he really carried us, the whole team, through the thing. And the BVA with Mr. Alan Sharp and Mr. Albert Humes, they were... Make them up, and I have to say their yes. names. Definite. Do you guys supposed to say up a name or no? You're <laughs> supposed to say, you can't step up. And nobody knows who that Julian Pan is, just tell me. <laughs> <laughs> so, pick up these hardworking parents, all these coaches, everybody that's making it possible. There's a lot of hands going into this pot to make sure, you know, it flows and it's a tasty recipe. And we're thankful for it. Congratulations, guys. Yes, congrats. We are so, so proud of you. We have people in the comments to talk about how they're so proud of you guys. Keep reaching for the stars. Blessings upon blessings. So people do appreciate and love the work you're doing. Continue to be disciplined and we can't wait to see what happens in October. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. So, Thank Nicaragua, you. here we come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they better be prepared and ready because our boys, they come. Come back. Guns blazing, popping and everything, chest ready for block, all of that. And so, <laughs> with that, guys, we're going to go to our next commercial break. And when we are back, we're going to be starting with our competition. Hashtag Let's Get Literate. We have the videos, we have the judges, we have the prizes, we have everything galore. Stay tuned.